it's Pastor Robert. I'm uh, trying to do some electromechanical work here in the bathroom. You see these lights keep on flickering on, uh, <laughs> on and off. And when the lights flicker on and off, it makes my brain feel all <laughs> crazy. So uh, I got my handy dandy box of tools. I'm no electromatician or anything, but uh, I figured there might be something in here that can help me figure out how to fix this light. So you want to you wanna look with me? Go to the second layer here. That's where the good tools are, I believe. Oh, what about this uh, little baby hammer? Could we uh, use that on the... No? Don't, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, here's, here's something. It's a... Uh... No? Okay. okay. We won't do that either. Ah! Stud finder. <laughs> Same as a joke. Okay. Dad jokes. Ah! I think I found the perfect tool to help us. This here is a uh, a uh, electro graph meter. Yeah, this will uh, this will probably fix the problem for us. Now, my lawyers really wanted me to tell you that electrical work is extremely dangerous, and kids do not try this at home. Mm -hmm. You you don't try it at home. All right, here we go. Let's uh. Let's turn this baby all the way up here. All right. Safety first. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh dear. Well, that uh that did not fix the problem at all. Oh boy. Uh, I'll tell you what. How about you kiddos sing our songs for today? And uh, I'll try to figure out how to get the lights back on. Okay, uh, everybody, stand up. Are Are you standing? I I can't see you. Okay, well, let's start the music. Shines like a
Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy.
welcome back, kids. As you can tell, I wasn't able to fix the lights yet, but I think somewhere in my toolbox I have... Ah, yes, here we go. Ah, flashlight. Now I can uh, see you all again, and you can see me, so that's helpful at least. How about I try to put the flashlight right up here? There we go. That's better. Now, ah. you know, the flashlight kind of reminds me of uh, the Easter story, which, by the way, is the best story in the entire Bible. But how does a flashlight make me think about Easter? Well, how about we watch a video, and then I'll tell you how. God's Story, Easter. So part of God's story is about Easter, and it begins like this. You might know Easter as the Sunday a ginormous bunny hides chocolate inside plastic eggs. But Easter is really all about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us. Remember how the Jews, God's special family, were waiting for a king to come rescue them? Well, Jesus was the king, and this rescue was the whole reason he came to earth. God had already rescued the Jews once before, but this time it was going to include everyone. So one night, Jesus told his friends about the rescue. Exciting, right? But talking about this rescue was sad. That's because Jesus was going to rescue the world by dying. Kids, every mean or bad thing we do deserves punishment. By dying, Jesus took our punishment. Lots of things in life have good parts and bad parts. And just like candy bars are mostly good, as long as you brush your teeth after you eat one, this story is a really good one. Anyway, talking about the rescue made Jesus sad since he didn't really want to die. Thankfully, we can talk to God when we're sad, so Jesus took a few friends into a garden to pray. In the garden, a guy named Judas, who people thought was Jesus' friend, came with some people to help arrest Jesus. Peter, one of Jesus' true friends, was so mad he cut off a servant's ear with his sword. But Jesus didn't want his friends to hurt others, so Jesus healed the ear and let them arrest him. Then Jesus was taken to trial. One of the most powerful men in the city, Pontius Pilate, wanted to let Jesus go. But many of the people wanted Jesus to die. They didn't believe he was the Son of God or any kind of king. Even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing sick people and making blind people see, they didn't believe in him. The people were so mad, they started yelling, kill him! So Pontius Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus. The soldiers made fun of the idea that Jesus was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Many people watched, but not all of them wanted Jesus to die. His mother and close friends were there too. Just imagine how they must have felt. Once Jesus was up on the cross, the sun stopped shining for three whole hours in the middle of the day. But those soldiers kept right on making fun of him. They said, if you're really God's son, why don't you just call on some angels to save you? Jesus could have called on angels to save him, but he loved us so much that he wanted to rescue us. So instead, he prayed to God, Father, I place my life into your hands. At that moment, Jesus died. When he died, the soldiers who had just killed him realized he really was the Son of God. Later, Jesus was put into a tomb and a big rock blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends thought that was the end. But three days later, God sent an angel to roll the stone away. Don't worry, Jesus could get out on his own. The angel moved the rock so everybody else could see the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends were the first to stop by the tomb. The angel said, He has risen! which is another way of saying, Jesus is alive. Nobody could believe it. Jesus took our punishment and then proved he really is the Son of God by coming back to life. Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And that's the story of Easter. I told you last week that Jesus came to rescue us from our sin. In order to rescue us, Jesus had to die on the cross. Now, here's the thing. Sin is a lot like darkness. 
It can overwhelm us. It can keep us from seeing just how great God is and just how much he loves us. Even Jesus compared sin to darkness, and he said that men love the darkness. So when Adam and Eve first disobeyed God and they sinned in the garden, this darkness came over all of God's creation. But let me ask you a question. What is the opposite of darkness? Yeah, light. And the Bible tells us that Jesus is the light of the world. And so all through the Bible, you see this, this battle of the darkness fighting against the light. And when Jesus died on the cross, it sure seemed like the darkness had won. But three days later, Jesus rose from the grave and his light broke through the darkness. Jesus defeated sin and death. Here's the thing. Darkness can never destroy the light. It can block it out temporarily, like a, a cloud going in front of the sun, but it can never destroy it. Light is greater than the darkness. Ah. And Jesus is greater than our sin. Jesus died and rose again so that you and I could be rescued from that darkness. Jesus wants us to, to know that he is the only way that we can be rescued from our sin. And so we need to understand that every single person, you and me, have sinned against God. We all have this darkness over our hearts. But when we call out to Jesus and ask him to, to forgive us of our sin, when we say that we know that he is the only way we can be rescued and we ask him to be our rescuer, our savior, then he will forgive our sin and he will come with the Holy Spirit within us and we can follow him just like his disciples. And that's why we celebrate Easter. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that while we were lost in the darkness, you still loved us and you still fought for us. We thank you for sending your son to die in order to rescue us. And we thank you that three days later, he rose again, defeating sin, defeating death. Lord, for any of these kiddos at home or, or even their family that, that don't know you, that haven't asked you to forgive their sins, I pray, Lord, that you would give them understanding and that they would come and accept that gift you have for them. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, I think the light stopped flickering, so uh, maybe I better just call an electrician to make sure it's really fixed and not try it myself anymore. I hope you all enjoy your Easter weekend, and I'll see you again next week.